So our biggest thank you and welcome is to the legend Richard Meyer, who is about to step out on stage. So Richard Meyer is a name that I have known forever, just having played his music, having coached his music, and having ha had him here as a guest clinician, as an honor orchestra clinician before. So he's a wonderful human being, a great clinician, and a fantastically imaginative composer. I hope you'll join me in, in welcoming Richard Meyer and enjoy the concert. Thank you.
Thank you very much. My name's Richard Meyer, and it's a pleasure to be here at PLU. It's cold, and you know what? I come from Southern California. When we went outside, it was so nice to hear some people from Washington say, gee, it's cold. <laughs> because I thought it was just me. But uh, it's a pleasure to be here working with these students. I got to do this about six years ago. It's my second time, and we've had just such a wonderful time. I'm gonna talk a little bit more toward the end of the concert, but welcome to our concert. We have all different styles of music, and we have students who are going to introduce each piece. So, here's something about our next selection. Good evening, everyone. My name is Deborah, and I play the bass. Our next selection is one of the most famous selections ever written for string orchestra. It is the finale from Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings. This piece was one of Tchaikovsky's own personal favorites and has been a favorite of audiences ever since its premiere in 1882. The piece begins with a slow, tender introduction based on a Russian folk tune. Two bustling main themes follow marked fast with spirit by the composer. Here now is the finale from Tchaikovsky's Serenade for Strings.
everyone, my name is Yukino and I play the violin. Our next piece is a nocturne from Norman Layden's Serenade for String Orchestra. A nocturne is a night piece written in a dreamy and romantic style. This particular nocturne is in the unusual time signature of 5-4 and features violin solos by Haley Vaugh and Nicholas Frazier. Here now is a nocturne by Norman Layden.
Some of you in the audience, and perhaps some of you in our cello section, might know the composer Luigi Baccarini. And Baccarini is a, a composer who wrote, uh, was a virtuoso cellist and a composer. And one of the things that he was most prolific in writing was string quintets. So uh, that's a, a, it's a very unusual combination to have two violins, uh, viola, uh, uh, and then two cellos. Actually, so unusual that our second cello was being played by a bass here uh, by Anna Jensen. Uh, and the reason for that is that uh, Baccarini was the in the employ of the King Charles III of, of Spain's brother, Luis. And Luis was a cellist and um, so needed wanted to play along with these pieces, and that is the way, the reason so many of these exist. There are great, they're all great pieces. This one that we're going to play for you is the most famous because it's kind of this fun romp through the city of Madrid. So if any of you have been to Madrid or to many Latin Spanish speaking cities, you know that they have incredible nightlife. And Madrid really still has incredible nightlife that is not just particip uh, participated by young people, but by all people. And that's kind of what is, is going on in this piece. It's a little snapshot of Berlin's nightlife of the 18th century. And so not just, you know, like uh, dancing, although there is there that, or drunkenness, though there is that, but also religion, because there is that. So this is a very Catholic piece, right? You're going to hear uh, the Ave Maria Bell, followed by a little bit of drunken dancing by the soldier, uh, uh, by the blind beggars, but also some military music and the soldier's drum. Then a prayerful song, which is the rosary be being played. Pazakaya means literally music of the street, so it's going to, you'll hear kind of what sounds like guitars accompanying a melody, and then more of the military drum and a military uh, band that plays in procession in front of the royal palace, which is actually right in the center of Madrid as well. So all of these movements happen very quickly. There is no pause in between them. Just uh, close your eyes and, and take an imaginary trip with us to the center of Spain. Thank you.
Those were the coaches that uh, coached your students um, twice during the, the two days. Uh, we had sectionals, and I know the students learned a lot from them. So that's part of the program here, and it's great for the conductor to have other teachers work on the music individually with the sections like that. But uh, wherever they are, let's give another hand to the faculty there. And our, ne our next student announcer is Romy. Hello everyone, I'm Romy and I play the cello. The famous, the famous English composer Gustav Holst wrote his St. Paul's Suite in 1913 for the orchestra at St. Paul's Girls School in London where he taught for 29 years. We will be performing the final movement of his suite in which Holst used two old English folk songs to create a delightful selection that has become popular since it was premiered over 100 years ago. First you will hear the Dargesen, which is a 16th century country dance tune. This melody is what is called a circular melody, that is, a melody with no ending that keeps circling back on itself. Holst uses this melody 30 times in succession, varying the accompanist each time it is heard. Above and below this happy little tune, if you listen carefully, you will hear the famous folk song, Green Sleeves, woven into the musical tapestry. We hope you enjoy the finale from St. Paul's Suite by Gustav Holst.
Don't they sound great, folks? Oh. It's I'm going to do a few thank yous um, in order, of starting with, uh, let's see, Asia Machina, Machiar. Okay, that's the uh, con conductor here. She's the one who put me in contact with the whole program, and we coordinated my coming up here. She was very gracious over email getting me up here, and it's been a pleasure. I haven't even had a chance to meet her, but wherever she is, thank you for all you've done to get this up and running. My wheels for the weekend, getting me from here to then, Sven, uh, Sven let me get this right, uh, Ronin, Ronin, Sven Ronin, right? But thank you, Sven, he's our violin teacher here at the, at the school, and he got me from here to there, and we had a lot of fun just talking shop and chihuahuas and pugs and all sorts of other things, so thank you very much. Our coaches, you already heard them, but if you're within earshot, thank you, coaches. You're an inspiration to me, and I got to watch them rehearse as well, and I always learn things. So thank you to our coaches from uh, PLU and beyond. Um, the students who helped run all this, Allison Rake and her merry band of helpers. They were so great. Allison, so organized. I said, could you get this done? Done. Or could you try getting it? It's finished, Mr. Meyer. So she was so wonderful and all of her merry band of helpers which I got to talk to around lunchtime and we had a good time talking music ed bassoon and all types of other things so thank you to her uh, school music teachers if you're a school music teacher or a private studio teacher of one of these students on stage would you please stand up we'd like to recognize you for your hard work these are the folks that make it happen every day I taught, public, I taught public school music for 35 years, and I know, it, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm now retired for eight. I heartily recommend retiring when you can, but it's great to uh, see these teachers come and support the students. They're doing the hard work in the trenches, and I know, and our students are glad to see you here, so thank you to them. A couple more thank yous. First, the club I joined 10 years ago, the Grandparents Club. Are there any grandparents here? You don't, you, you want to stand up or not? Just raise your hand, grandparents. Woohoo! We appreciate you, aunts and uncles and caregivers and all. And then the parents, the parents of these students, this is the payout for what you've done and for driving them from here to there, getting them strings, starting them on Go Tell Aunt Rody or whatever years ago. Thank you, I was a Suzuki dad as well. I have three daughters who play and I know what it's all about being the parent and encouraging them when they don't want to practice, etc. So we're gonna have the parents actually stand up and students, you're gonna really thank your stu uh, parents from the um, hall here, from the stage and give them a nice round of applause. Give me my parents, please stand up, you deserve it. And finally, the king and I, one of the lyrics in that musical says, from your students, you'll, from your pupils, you'll be taught when you become a teacher. And I was taught a lot about teaching and music from this group of young people. I don't think I've conducted anywhere, guest conducting, with more passionate, informative, well-prepared students. Uh, they took part in the rehearsals, and I told them, if you want to be a pro, you have to let the conductor know certain things that are going on in your section. Boy, they took that to heart. There are all kinds of questions. Should we do this on this Boeing? They really felt it. And I was inspired by you students. Thank you so much. I haven't heard my music played this way in so long, and it's just a pleasure to be able to conduct you. And you guys were awesome, and I hope you keep playing. Now, if you go on to college and the next step, in LA, we've got doctor's symphonies, we've got lawyer's symphonies. It doesn't matter what your occupation is, keep music in your life because it's really important. And we, I, I thank you all so much for all the rehearsals. I had a blast. Did you guys have a good time? Yeah, what else are they gonna say, right? <laughs> How many met somebody new? Met somebody new here? Get them up, let's, yeah. And you never know when you'll cross paths again. So music brings people together and just not just for the entertainment value, but for 
just what we get out of it. So thank you very much. Keep music alive in your schools, whatever you can do. Encourage your administrators. Tell them how important it is. I'm preaching to the choir because you guys are here and you know about it. But let's keep music alive. It's really important. And thank you for having me up here. It's been my pleasure. I've had a blast, as I said before. And we have Caleb to announce our last selection. I'm Caleb, and I play the viola. For our final piece, we will be performing Vanishing Point by our conductor, Richard Meyer. This modern selection was inspired by the concept of receding parallel lines, a key to linear perspective in the art world. This phenomenon is represented musically through the piece in two different ways. By sections of the orchestra playing in contrary motion, that is, one section going down a scale while the other goes up, and by the use of decrescendos in which notes grow softer and eventually disappear. We hope you enjoy Vanishing Point by Richard Meyer. 